In this video, we will be seeing how long it takes me to get from world 1 to the final world in elemental dungeons. We will be getting the rarest elements, double jump, dashes, and a whole bunch of cool things. Without further ado, let's get started with the beginning. Alright, so starting off, I've actually played a little bit of this game, and I actually have a couple of stuff and gravity, which is apparently a cool element to have. But we still have a long journey to go, so let's just get started, right? Alrighty, first battle I'm recording, let's go. 3, 2, 1, and we're, we're off. Okay, it's this game, not the other one. Alright, so basically this game, all you have to do is just kill a bunch of mobs, a bunch of dungeons, clear a bunch of dungeons, and you get a bunch of prizes with it. But as you can see, I am not strong at all. But you have an element, which... Wait, that's it? Uh, I guess it's the the elements just leveled up or it, I just started using the elements So it makes sense not that powerful, but yeah, you can upgrade your elements more and more so you get more and more power It's really cool. I'm currently in the first world So I'm not really <laughs> too far into the game and I'm currently doing the hardcore version So if I die, I pretty much have to reset again and of course, why did I just say that? I just called my own death. God dang it. You guys didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, we're not talking about it. All right, let's, let's, let's start again and let's not do hardcore. Let's do hell. It's, it's a lot cooler. Wait, hell's not cool. Let's try this again, shall we? And let's actually use our element so we can upgrade it because if you don't use your element, uh, the element pretty much doesn't upgrade. And I apparently have to upgrade it to level 250 to have all the power-ups, which in a way kind of sucks, <laughs> but whatever. All right, now another thing you can choose is if you want to use swords, elements, or defense, which one you want to upgrade. You can just upgrade one particular one if you want. I currently want to upgrade all of them like a little bit just to have everything even, but we might end up changing it over time because you can refund these. And as soon as you're done clearing it, you will be in the boss area. So this is supposed to be the hard boss. I ain't gonna lie, it's not actually the hard Achilles. And if you die, you don't really get punished. But yeah, this, this is what it looks like. I'm currently using my sword and I'm not doing much damage. I'm trying to avoid getting hit. But hey, my element does a little bit of damage and oh no. Well, I just died. Rip. But like I said, you don't really get punished. Let's upgrade our sword a little bit more so we got more attack. You're like so dead. Die already. Come on. You're, you're already dead. Bro, 12? Alright, there we go. Bingo. Beautiful. Let's go. Alright, boss defeated. Though we do have to get to a certain level to get to the next world, so we are gonna have to do this a bunch more times. <laughs> 1 hour and 30 minutes in, we're almost there to finishing the first world. You will see some time lapses from here and there just so I can tell you how much time has passed and to cut out all the boring part. We've entered the second world and it hasn't really taken us that long so far, like an hour and 30, so... But I feel like it's gonna get harder the longer it, I play. I have a habit of every single time I want to complete a game, I end up choosing a harder game to play. <laughs> Literally look at my other videos and you can see the level of difficulty rising every time. Don't die, don't die. Oh my god, bro, I need to get better weapons and better armor, bro. I'm dying like a fly, bro. I might as well not even be doing anything, bro. Though the one thing I hate the most about this game is like when you're trying to find that one missing person and you have no idea where they are. Bro, I did not even know about this waterfall and I just stumbled on it, bro. I was looking for so long for these enemies, but hey, finally they're here. Uh, all right, let's kill these gorillas, are they? They're gorillas, throwing rock throwing gorillas. They're a lot stronger and I'm very weak. Okay, cool. And wow. What is this little hoodlum doing here? Hello, What are, what is this? Okay. Oh, I can get Element Blade for 40k? Yes, sir. Well, I currently don't actually know what that is, but I'm gonna save up 40 grand anyway, so I can get it. It probably just gives me like a boost or something, hopefully. So here's me looking for the last enemy, and I currently cannot find him. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Like, I, the, bro, and, and why do they camouflage him so much, bro? Why do they make these dudes green in a green area? Why don't they make them like yellow so I can see them or something? <laughs> okay, so this is what this boss looks like. Anything different from the other dude? Up, oh, kind of just the same. Maybe different power-ups. I guess they use different elements. This one's an earth element, dude. And, oh yeah, he summons enemies just like the other ones. And I'm currently about to die. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. How am I not dead? How am I not dead? Jesus. And man's finally defeated. Let's go. Okay, now time to upgrade. How much XP are we getting? Don't care. All right. What will we be upgrading? Health probably, yeah. Health's the lowest one I got. All right, perfect. I should be a little, like, stronger now. What's a game without codes? Let's let's redeem some codes here so we can get money. There we go. Beautiful. Time to get some elements, see what we get. Hopefully we get the Reaper. Apparently that's one of the better ones in this game. I, I did my research and water. Cool. I got water in nature. <sighs> and I got nothing useful. Cool. I'm glad I redeemed those codes. Great use of my time. 
I should probably start looking around and seeing what I should buy. Like, look at this. I need to spend elements to get this stuff. Are this stuff even OP? Is it even good to get him? And there's also like a wizard over here I saw. Where is he? There he is. No, that's, that's, what is this? Titles. What can I do with titles? Oh, it's just names? Okay, I don't care about this. I looked around and all I figured out is that I am completely poor and I cannot buy anything. So let's start selling off everything. Six hours in and we were almost done with the next world. We were able to unlock a few things playing in this one, like a weapon enchantment and a couple of element buffs. But we still got a long way to go. So we're in the new world right now and I've officially just moved on to just using elements. I realize they, they're just the main ones that do damage. And and mine's already at 117, so I might as well complete this entire element. I might end up changing it a little bit, like a couple elements from time to time, just to make it a little more interesting. And let's face it, this is probably not going to be the best element I'm going to get in this entire game. So one neat thing you can do in this game is sacrifice your element to spawn more bosses. The main thing for doing this is obviously the XP and also just to get a little bit more loot. Mainly the XP though. But yeah, you can form new bosses, but it makes it so much harder to stay alive. You have to be constantly moving or you're just gonna die over and over again. We pretty much killed all of them. All we have left is this little dude and we're done. Oh wait, we gotta get a little bit more power and we can finally get him. And dodge, obviously, and get some heals. The thing is if- oh my god, are you serious? How did I die? The thing is if you don't die, you get more XP and I needed that more XP. Dang it. We won, but it doesn't feel like a win. See, so yeah, as you can see, we got a little bit more XP and a lot more rewards uh, for defeating all those bosses. To be honest, these rewards don't really mean anything to me because, once again, I'm only using elements. The armor's alright, but the rest is kind of pretty much there. I've also decided to purely focus my skills on, uh, like, element power, and I'm trying to debating if I should use the lava element. I feel like I'm gonna use it, but, like, at the end, like, as soon as I'm done upgrading this one, I'll switch it up. Currently taking a break from the grinding, and we're gonna do this raid real quick, which is apparently you can get a lot of loot from this, and I'm kinda stoked about it, so let's try this out, let's do a raid. Apparently upon entering the raid, you also have to wait a full, like, four minutes for the raid to start, which is kind of annoying, I was sitting here for the entire game. Alright, let's do this, it's about to start, and let's go, let's see, whoever can get the most damage, I'm pretty sure gets the best reward. Alright, is this coming down? Okay, there we go, beautiful. Alright, let's do this. How many enemies can we kill? This is pretty much a ra Oh wow, it actually takes a long time to kill these dudes, okay. Alright, so it's actually gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Alright, I'm taking a bit of damage here, but nothing we can't handle. Are you serious? I, did I just die? No, we're not dying. Okay, yes, I'm using this respawn. I do not care. Pay to win, I do not care. I, I spent so much time waiting for this, I'm not about to just die. We're in it right now, and there's currently two bosses, so this is twice as hard, and it's twice as hard to kill, which is annoying, but yeah. We're still alive, which is surprising. I expected to be dead by now. Oh my god, how am I dodging this? Wow, how am I alive? <laughs> Jesus Christ, who's still alive? Oh, well, I'm dead now. Is anyone else alive? Oh, there's a couple of people alive. Well, we pretty much did it. We survived till the end, so I successfully did a raid. Let's go. A full 24 hours have passed, and we were finally able to beat this next world. I know I did a big jump right here just because it would have been way too much content to add to this particular video. But moving on to the next world. We've made it to the ocean world, and I ain't gonna lie, I already hate this world so much, it's so confusing. We did also switch to the lava, as you can see, we have a brand new element. Yes, and the power-ups are sick with this one, ten times better than the void one. I don't even know why I chose that one. <laughs> and why is everything so far apart from, like, everything? Like, why is every enemy so far from everything else? Jesus Christ, I have to walk like a mile to kill one- and I ain't gonna lie, I'm starting to hate the boss as well, bro. This boss is so annoying to fight, Jesus Christ. I can't even get close to him without him, like, spinning me away. We do all have a lot of items right now that we can use. Like, we can't craft a bunch of stuff yet, but we can at least sell all this stuff. And I guess use the elements to sacrifice them. I am planning on getting the frog legs now, which is like a double jump you get. So that's the next uh, thing I want to do. 40 hours in and we were able to make so much progress. The next thing I wanted to do was get 5 frog legs from the merchant to get double jump. But the thing is, it is kind of hard to get just because the merchant doesn't sell the thing you want sometimes. And he only appears after every 1 hour. So yeah, it was a bit of a challenge. Guess what we just got? We just got the double jump from this frog. Let's go. I've actually waited so long to get this double jump. I don't actually know how useful it is, but I got it. And I can travel really far now. 
Yay! Now that we have these frog legs, I kind of want a new element to use because I already maxed out this one. And there's still a long way to go, so I'll have time to level it up as max possible before I can finish. Oh wait, what did I just get? Oh, I just got a legendary, let's go. What legendary did I get? The dragon, alright, well... I mean, I'm not using the dragon, I'm sorry. 56 hours in, and we were almost done with this final world. The world that took us definitely the longest out of all of them. But here are some funny moments of what happened to me in this level, because there was a lot of wacky stuff. Yo, this has to be the most OP item out of all of them, bro. Look at this, bro. It does so much damage. You know, this game's just getting repetitive at this point, like... Okay. Well, that's... that's new. Alrighty. What just happened? Okay, well, thank you. I just automatically defaulted to dying. Cool, thanks, game. This boss by far is the worst out of all of them, bro. It's the most annoying one to kill. And why does he have so much life, bro? Like, why did they do, like, this automatic upgrade to this? Jesus Christ. Well, okay, wow, oh my god, that was dull. Damn, man, lodge me in the sky. After, like, 60 hours or something, we've finally done it. It's finally here. I've finally unlocked the new world. Thank the lords, bro, you don't know how long- I mean, you do know how long this took, but damn. Alright, well, time to look at this new world, see how what it has to offer. Okay, it's definitely what I expected, it's just lava in a volcano, and the good thing about this world, guess what? My element, apparently it's the best for this world, so I already got it fully upgraded, so if, I, if I'm ever gonna complete this world, I already got the element, which is nice. But I like, I like how it looks so far, though I wanna see what the boss looks like, usually they always do a creative way doing the bosses. Now this world's definitely a lot more unique, by far, like, first of all, like, you go between worlds, like, you actually have to travel between worlds yourself to actually get to each island, and the boss is actually, like, really, really cool, look at him, bro. Though, him, he is quite easy to kill, the other one was ten times harder compared to this dude. <laughs> okay, well, this is different. Okay, I've never seen this one before. This one, what's happening here? Is he gonna explode or something? Oh, he is gonna explode. Oh, he's bigger now. Okay, alright, well, this is sick. Alright, this is by far the best boss out of all of them. He has three phases in total. Damn. It's over. The final boss is about to be defeated. And... Bro, die already, come on. Beautiful. It's been done. The challenge has been complete. I got to the final world and beat the boss. Thank God. Alrighty, now let's look at my achievements. It is time to analyze the results. Let's see where I got. So I got played a total of three days, a little bit more than three days. Did a total of like 163 million damage, and we got to top 301 in the leaderboard. And we finished the final world, which is a couple of big achievements. So I'm really happy with how this video turned out. I had a lot of fun recording it. And if you guys want to see more like this, comment down below what other videos or what other games you want to see next, because once again, I do record a lot of games and I do finish a lot of games, so make sure to check them out. Join my Discord and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.